So welcome. I have had a few requests for the measuring Sri Yantra. That means the specific measurements that are going to be in the center of the Yantra. So I wanted to jump on before I start the drawing and let you know there's a couple of different ways of doing this. This Yantra is sometimes seen with the gates open. That's where you have these empty channels out to the north, south, east and west. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then, so that's something I actually was teaching in the freehand Sri. That is the gates open. That is one school of Sri Vidya, which is the study of Sri. And there's another way of doing the Sri Yantra, which is a more classical form. And that actually is the way I'm going to teach you in this video. So in the classical Sri Yantra, the gates are closed. And so you're going to see the firm outline that you see in most of my Yantras. So I'll teach you how to do the center part with the triangles. And that's where the exact measurements are going to come in today. So this method of making the Sri Yantra with the exact measurements is very satisfying. And I really, as much as I like doing the free hand Sri, I really like to use these exact measurements once in a while. It's just super satisfying to get it all precise. So I'll teach you how to do the triangles. I'm going to teach you how to do the petals also in this video. And there is a handout on my website if you want to hop over to the website and it's a downloadable small fee for the handout which I made for you and that'll give you the measurements. So if you feel like you can't remember them or you want to practice them at home without the video then go ahead and go over to sarayantra.com. All right so thank you so much. Thank you for requesting this video. If you like this video Definitely subscribe to this channel and keep sending me your requests and like the video and comment and come and see me one day for consultation. That's always really a nice way that I can get to meet you and see how you're working with yantras. All right, so I really just hopped on to say hi and to let you know that there are many forms of the Sri Yantra. And the one I'm teaching you today is the classical Sri Yantra that has the closed gates and it has three outer rings and this one is just going to have two, two layers around it, two rings around it. You'll see. All right, well, good luck. Let me know how you get on. Bye. Good. We are going to be drawing the long hand, Shri, and as opposed to the free hand, quick Shri. And what I've been finding is that it's really useful to know how to do the freehand Sri. We will start with the sound Shreem, S-R-I-M, Shreem, Shreem. And diving in, I'm going to find the center of my piece of paper. Here we go, crisscross in the middle, just to find the center. You could do it by measuring, but it's kind of nice to use this method. Let's see, I kind of mapped it out a bit. All right, so where they cross is going to be where you have your compass. Okay. Doesn't have to be. All right. So we're going to put our compass in the middle of that crisscross and draw a circle. This is a guide circle. So we essentially we have a circle in the middle of our piece of paper. Then I'm going to erase that crisscross and I'm going to draw a vertical and horizontal line through my paper. 
so I like to use this grid ruler it helps me get it a little bit a little bit more vertical let's see and today I'm going to show you another method for doing the horizontal line so this is going to be one line let's see the trick here is to have your pencil fall into that indentation all right so let's do the trick the trick and the second trick there's lots of tricks the second trick is to take the compass point and what you're going to do actually we can just open it the circumference of the circle might be neater let's do that so right now the compass is as wide as the whole circle okay then I'm going to make a mark either side and then draw a line through it let's see see how it goes through the crisscrosses just double check there. So you want to feel your pencil go through that indentation. All right, so that's your horizontal line. Hopefully that's wide enough. I like to put an arm at the top. If you know how to write shream, you can also put a shream. Now we're going to make the diagonals. So take the metal point and open up the compass so the lead sits on the horizontal where the horizontal line touches the circle. And then you make a mark on either side. Then you go to the next intersection on the circle. When you have four sets of these, take your ruler, maybe take this ruler, and then put your ruler through the center. It's very important that your ruler goes straight through the center. Not so important about the crisscrosses, but also important. So these are the true diagonals. Gonna see where that's falling. Okay, that's looking good. Try and draw one straight line this time. Arm stream. Then we'll do the other one. It's always good to see where the light is. Usually on your ruler, one side will be lighter than the other. It's all about the light. Let's see. Is that good? satisfying center okay now you are ready to do the measurements so I'm going to take my other ruler that has measurements maybe just clear this just a tiny bit so it's not confusing and there are two main measurements for the Sri Yantra. The Sri Yantra has those triangles in the center. So that circle is what we're going to measure right now. The circle that contains the triangles, okay? And we need to measure 48. So if I wanted, I could measure 24 like this. Right, that would be 48. But that would give me a very small yantra. And I think for the purpose of teaching, I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to double it. 48 plus 48 makes 96. So I'm going to do that. 96, which means the center of my ruler there will say 48. And I'm going to make a mark. 
Be as precise as you can be here. Okay, that is 96. So I'm basically using two millimeters for every unit. So I have 48 units. I'm gonna have 48 units. Let's go ahead and draw that circle. See how that looks. Hopefully fabulous. Okay. So we want that to be 96 across. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to go from the center all the way. See how that's 48 there? We're going to go all the way out to, let's see, this, is, this would have been 24, right? Because if it was 48, this would have been 24. 24 units on one side. But we doubled it, so it's 48. I am going to give you a handout to go with this. So this is basically 24 units. Two, I have two millimeters per unit. And I want to go all the way to 55 units today. So because I'm using two millimeters per unit, it's actually going to go up to 110. millimeters. 110 divided by 2 is 55. So it's going to be 55 units. Once I have that, I'm going to open up my compass. Honestly, the most important measurement is that 48. So that's, that's the thing that's really taught very specifically. This last measurement it actually depends on how many circles you want to have within the yarn trend. Today I'm going to be making three extra circles. And I'll show you that as we go. Okay, so I hope that's clear. I know it's a little hard to do like this, but this, this measurement is 24 units. I'll just write it down so you see it. Units. And the measurement from the circle to the edge is 55 units. Okay, the whole, this far, 55 units, 24 units. And you can use any units you like. You know, if you're doing a huge yarn show, obviously it's going to be inches, not millimeters. Okay, so it's all proportional. And now we're going to continue making the yarn show like we would be making any other yarn show. Okay. So I'm going to start with the dividing of the gates. 